fundamental problem 12.6 um, and in the past you know we've been just dealing with um, time or time dependent equations right so we have we've had ds dt and also we've dealt with d or dv dt right and also our kinematic equations which don't really depend on um, uh, we don't really use when we have uh, acceleration velocity and position functions okay so we're going to use these equations again but we're going to switch it up a bit because here they're giving us the acceleration of the particle right is position dependent and not time dependent okay so I kind of we have to switch up these derivatives um, in a way where we can take derivatives with respect to position all right so s is measured in meters and determine the velocity of the particle when s equals 10 um, if v equals 5 at s equals 0 so you know you have your boundaries so we want v when s equals 10 right and we're told that v at s equals 0 is 5 okay so again our acceleration is given to us in terms of position right so this is where we're going to be and we're going to have to get comfortable with this because we're going to do the same thing when it comes to um, getting the tangential component of acceleration or the adjacent component and so on. So here we have dv dt, right? We know if we integrate acceleration once, we can get our, um, our velocity function, okay? But our acceleration, again, depending on position so we're gonna have to do the chain rule here right so we can turn this into right we want to utilize ds right so instead of using dt we want to use ds okay but in order to do a full switch you have to do the following right that way you have your dv dt term here but you've just added this ds terms right what this makes or the final um, you combine all this ds dt that's just your velocity right so you're gonna have v dv ds and now all your equations are in terms of these parameters that you're gonna integrate over okay so now we can go forward with doing the integration so we have a bring over the ds ds equals v dv okay so now we're going to have 10 minus 0.2s ds equals vdv, vdv. And now let's put our, our limits here. So at s equals 0, we have our velocity equals 0. And at s equals 10, so let's just say... Let's leave it as s, and then we'll just plug in. That way we can leave it as a variable and just plug in 10 afterwards. And um, this will be v, okay? Or let's say vf. Yeah, let's just call it v. So when we do this, we're going to have 10s minus 0.2s squared over 2 right from 0 to 10 I'm oh, sorry from 0 to s and this will be v squared over 2 from 5 to v all right everyone with me okay so now we're gonna have 10 s minus 0. Point uh, 2, so that's 0 0.1, let's just call it 0.1 s squared equals, and then we have v squared over 2, plug and then minus, this evaluated at 5, so we have 25 over 2. Alright, so we move everything to one side. Right, and we get, or actually, let's just plug in our 
s equals 10. So this will be 10 times 10 minus 0 0.1. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm too lazy to write isolate v, right? Because three of the terms, and then it's just much easier to just uh, evaluate it at 10. So that's 10 squared equals v squared over 2. And let's just say this is 12.5. OK. Moving everything over here, we're going to have 100 minus 10 plus 12.5 equals v squared over 2. And then we know that we can just switch this up and say square root of all this times 2 equals our v at s equals 10. Okay, so once we evaluate this, we plug it into our calculators, do all, do all that, we get that v is equal to the square root of 205, right? Or 14.3 ish meters per second. Okay, so we want to be flexible with how we write um, these equations a equals dv, which can be written as dv ds times ds dt, and then we rewrite this acceleration uh, equation in terms of v and position, velocity and position. Okay, once we do that, it's just like any other regular problem, just integrate and then set your boundaries. All right. And um, yeah, so if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just comment down below. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave some feedback. Give it a like. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video, guys.